What I am, family? It's your boy, SNTV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Gyro City Motor. Shout out Gyro City Motor. That's my name. Who you looking for? Motor is originally from Weird City or Brain Dead, the Noodle Knockers. They're from 82nd to 83rd. Ellis to Evans. He was actually from 82nd in Ingleside. Which, of course, Brain Dead are BDs. So Gyro City Motor was a BD. And I think why a lot of people get confused is because of the fact that you may see a GD in a picture with a BD, and that BD may be dropping forks, and that GD may be dropping forks. You know what I'm saying? You got BDs, this BDK, you got GDs, this GDK. But a lot of these guys just end up moving to other areas. They never stop being affiliated with their original area. And most people... When you're dealing with gang banging, how they think about gang banging is this gang against that gang and that gang against this gang. This, um, GDs, BDs, Stones, uh, Cobras, and all of these different sets being within one click and these sets clicking up to the point to where a lot of times we don't know what that specific person is. It's like, you know, that's something new. Like I said before in one of my lives, it's like, you know, gang banging starting all over again where your initial set doesn't really matter because you know you were part of these guys just as well and a lot of times like in gyro city motors case guys move to other areas and what a lot of people don't know about gyro city motor too is that gyro city motor actually was claiming the wise you know what i'm saying he hung with the wise a lot and he was real cool with everybody from Melly to Ario to G Arrow to Driller to, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the guys that was from Gyro City that was actually cool with all of the wise. <laughs> and they talk about, they, and they talk about, uh, ask him about Lil J. They say, what's going on with Lil J in there? Well, well they say, what's going on with Lil J in there? Lil J? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And one big major reason for that is because Motor has been with China O's sister for years. Point live. <laughs> BDK China YM China Shorty. 
Dirty Low China show you throw the mails up. Drop L's for the motherfuckers. Fuck boys, they know who they is, man. We don't fuck around. Now Moda actually had a reputation in the street. He was said to have been one of the guys on the little boo hit. He was also said to have been a leg shooter, according to his ops. I think that Gyro City Motor started getting a lot more notoriety after he got out. You would always see him with people like Melly. You would see him on lives with people like Wooski. And you got to think about it. At the time, Melly, he was so hot in the streets for as his name. When motherfuckers see you with him, they going to automatically look at it like, damn, who is he? And I'm not talking about the people that may know that Melly and Motor been rocking with each other because they have. Where you from, though? <laughs> throw, your old, throw your old shit up. What's his fault, boy? Not a no, boy. I'm talking about the people that didn't really know who Motor was, because Motor, you know, Motor has did a lot of time. So he would be seen on live with people like Wooski, and, you know, at that time, you got to think about it. Wooski was one of the hottest motherfuckers in Chicago. That headshot definitely affected Wooski, but before that headshot, Wooski had came out with that computers. He dropped that murder with Young. He had dropped some shit with uh, FYBJ, man. The track that Wooski had got on, man, Wooski was going crazy. Motherfucker seeing people like, people like Moda with Wooski, they want to know who Moda is. And what a lot of people don't know about Moda is that Moda was participating in peace talks with a pastor that was trying to build a community center in the neighborhood of Woodlawn. And the ideal goal was to build the community center and have it to where, you know, both parties or all of Woodlawn would be able to come to that community center and actually, you know, utilize that community center. Towns on the, like West Wisconsin. So what? I'm just saying, I go there for. Okay, I'm just saying, y'all down at a hotel. Right, y'all think, y'all think we should, we should try to hire something together where. You know, we got these certain individuals and these certain individuals, and we come in and sit down as, as brethren. I don't want to be, I don't want to be sitting down on anybody. I don't want to sit down with. Right, yeah, that's what I'm right, saying. Right. So, you know. And I thought that by Moda even being there said a whole lot about him. Dealing with Moda's death. 51st of Indiana. 51st of Indiana. I think it's two of their ass in there at least. They had to stretch out there. They put that motherfucker back up. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be safe, shit. I'm going back in my job, shit. Yeah, I think they is dead, shit. They put the stretcher back in. They had to stretch it out by the door. Like they was trying to take them out. But shit, they put that motherfucker back in the ambulance. Like it was over with. Shit, where them hoes at? Motherfucker might have caught some headshots. Gyro City Motor was killed coming out of the Golo gas station with a friend of his that went by the name of Marcus or Cy. Now, the thing is, this gas station is very known for people dying at it. You see what I'm saying? Back in 2017, there was a shooting to where four people got shot and two people actually got killed. And this was also a known hangout for 051 Young Money. You would have all types of ops riding through that area looking to see if they can catch one another. And that's part of the reason why Melly told Motor Inside before they died to stay away from that gas station because he understood how dangerous the gas station was. For one, there's a lot of different ops that be in that area. And for two, when you leaving out of that gas station, it's a one way, so you can't turn right, you gotta turn left towards that intersection. So you know that's kind of a trap within itself. 
and judging by where the bullets were located, shit, where them holes at, motherfucker, might have caught some headshots. I think that when Side and Motor pulled out of the gas station, they caught the red light, and at that time when they caught the red light, whoever killed them popped out, shot, obviously from either across the street or maybe closer than that in the middle of the street. And you know, the bullets went through the windows and the bullets hit them, side and motor ended up dying. Now there was one guy that was with him that goes by the name of Geo Drive Mall. And there was reportedly a girl with him that a lot of people say could have possibly been Amber. I think that what we can definitely learn about the death of Gyro City Motor is that one, you always want to have your head up and be paying attention to your surroundings. Two, never put yourself in a situation to where something can possibly happen. For instance, that gas station was hot. It was on fire. It still is till this day. There's no reason why I would go to that gas station and stop at that gas station for anything. And hopefully others will learn from the mistake that Gyro City Motor made and not make the same mistakes themselves. It's your boy SNTV. I'm out.